Hi everyone. You're welcome to my professor note. In this video we are covering Simon de Beauvoir's The Second Sex. This is one of the groundbreaking work in the field of the feminist theory. Simon de Beauvoir, a French existentialist and the French feminist philosopher. Her work published in the 1949 in the French language and in English in 1953. This work set a starting point for the second wave feminism and known for his a very famous quote one is not born but rather becomes woman here she discusses about if we have to conclude this whole work of her in one line i would say this is about finding the identity of a woman and the identity which she is given how that is formed the whole process which is working behind this The woman is not complete by herself. She has to depend upon a man. She is not an independent entity. We see that feminine and masculine, this is a very common thing that feminine and masculine are two quality which is found in the both men and women. But here, the way we see in the world that feminine is totally considered for women and masculine for men. These are two qualities. and they are found in both men and as well as in the women so they both should be equal but this is a man dominated world the way she looks at it and this is true as well we have seen men is dominating the women and that which pushes her to write this work down and she divided her work into two volumes This is a thesis the second sex is a thesis by the Simon de Beauvoir which she completed within the 14 months and the two volumes or the two books the first one is the facts and myths here she talks about the chronicles of womankind from the prehistory to the 1940s to know this conditioning to know this identity which is given to the woman at this present time we have to go in the history that how it was formed what is the process working behind this so she studied all the various disciplines your history your psychology your biology because these are the fields because these are the subject which has given this identity to the women and in no way she found a clear justification which can say that why is women inferior to men why she is secondary to men why she needs to seek the validation from society of her own worth so these are some of the things there when she goes back here she quote the pythagoras who said in the ancient greek there is a good principle that created order light and men and bad the principle is that created chaos darkness and women once again i will say pythagoras quoted this in the ancient greek when she went to the prehistory to find out that how were things how was women considered so pythagoras says there is a good principle that created order light and men and there is a bad principle that created chaos darkness and women so this is how women is being seen she is incomplete she is dependent always on men why herself she is not complete why she is always considered as a as a part of the men she is not complete by her own self that is a question she is asking that what is a woman how that identity is formed and in her next which is the lived experience is detailed case study of contemporary womanhood and stages like childhood puberty maturity and her old age at the very beginning the child that girl is given a doll she plays with it that plastic toy the doll is always a submissive you know you twist her and turn her the way you want to right these are the qualities which are are given by society to her men and women born in a similar way both have feminine and the and the masculine qualities but why she has to wear that nail polish or lipstick why she has to wear 
a frock or high heels right how these things are growing or came into existence right why she is always treated as a object these are the questions she is asking but mainly it is about the identity of the women why she is inferior to men why she is seeking for the for the validation of her worth why she is dependent on men to fulfill his needs so they are in a relationship and when she look back the woman had a few legal rights so she had no influence right so at the end she draw the conclusion that both men and women must be treated as equal right she must be independent she should not always be considered as a part of men right without men she is nothing she has her own identity the identity she has today is because of this huge and long process which is going on from the very past right and she examines the work of the five authors to show that how is women portrayed in the in the literature and these five writers are henry de montherlant d h lawrence paul claudel and the breton and the stendhal so these are some of the very objective information you need to remember for your exam point of view all right if you found anything uh, you want me to know so please make sure you left a comment in the comment section if you like this effort make sure you like share and subscribe next time i will come with the another video till then time my professor note signing off